Being the only son between my two sisters, my parents thought that I would become either an engineer or a lawyer or a doctor, if not anything else, as an agriculturist. My father was an agriculturist. But uh, my marks, I was always 45-50% chap. So it was impossible. After the intermediate, I thought perhaps I could go to art. But then, you know, my parents were told that let him do B.Sc. Physics, Chemistry, Mathematics. And I used to get a tuition for all the subjects. And that was a torture. Then I started doing uh, caricatures of these cricketers and then musicians whom I admired. I was doing all these things without my parents' knowledge. You know, my, my cartoon and caricature for all these magazines was only after 10, 30, 11 o'clock in the night. Then there was one uh, art critic called G. Venkatachanam. And uh, it is he who saw my work. Then he said, I think you should go to an art school. And, uh, and there is KCS Panikkar, he's a very wonderful teacher, and Madras is very close by, you must go to an art school. I said, sir, how do I convince my parents? He said, I will talk to them. So my parents finally agreed because they knew I was not happy at all. Then I went to a, a Madras art school in 1960. I was 18 and odd at that time. Then uh, I gave Panikkar this letter, Venkatachalam's letter. He said, good, but I won't take you in unless you pass the test. I said, yes, sir. Test was something like drawing from the model, which I had never done. Somehow I managed, you know, I managed uh, that and I managed going and doing landscape outside and I got the first rank and then I was admitted to the college. But one thing uh, my father felt, how are you going to make money from art? So initially my father said, look, I will give you some money every month for your basic necessities. But that was not sufficient, really not sufficient because I had to buy my colors, my canvas, my paper, it's all expensive. But in 1964, I applied for the National Scholarship, Government of India Cultural, uh, Dep Culture Department Scholarship. And uh, I got uh, that scholarship that year, which was 250 rupees a month at that time. That was really a good sum. And so I told my father, please don't send any money anymore. I can manage. And uh, I didn't touch my father's pie after that. And 1967, I got the national award for my painting of Lalit Kala Academy. And uh, so that really made uh, my mother feel great. She said that, you know, that, that something, you know, uh, her son has achieved. I mean, that feeling, you know, with, I, I could see that sort of a happiness in them. And uh, so no going back after that. 1965, uh, in the College of Art, when we were studying and Panikkar asked some of us what we would do after finishing the diploma. We didn't know what to answer, you know, I mean, how to answer that question. Then um, he said, look, some of my very good students, they have gone to commercial industry and they have lost themselves. And, uh, you know, I feel very bad about it. I know how difficult it is for an artist to survive. There was an American artist who had come to visit our college and he was wearing a shirt which was designed by him. The first time we saw an artist design his own shirt, that's how we started doing batik. We were about uh, 25, 30 of us. We started learning batik and did the batik. And in one year we had produced enough, like saris, dress materials, and wall hangings, and so many things. We had an exhibition, it was a sellout in Chennai. That gave us the idea that we need a place. And it's possible for us to even if one sp spent about an hour or two a day, we could make enough money for our basic livelihood. So we formed a cooperative, Artists Handicrafts Association, we called it, and bought 10 acres of land in different stages and named it Cholamandal Artist Village. <laughs> Arna was uh, in 1962 when she was uh, two years junior to me in the College of Art 
where I studied in Chennai. And uh, we became good friends and we got married in 1971 and uh, she moved to Cholamandal Artist Village. We built a house in Cholamandal in uh, 1971 and uh, uh, she was very much responsible to get it designed and build it. Then we lived together very happily. She was working on her own and I was working on my own and we used to travel a lot. In 1981 we had our son born and um, we lived together very happily. In 1988 when Arnavas died of cancer and uh, then I was thinking of doing something for the cancer society but some of my friends advised me to start uh, charities a for heard of a foundation to help a community of artists so i requested some of my friends like girish karnad shanta gohan to join me to start this what i called arnavas vasudev charities in 1989 and the charities has been doing a lot of good work and it has been helping a lot of young artists financially over the years and nearly 200 artists have so far benefited from these charities. Well, prodigal son, you know, I, I left my father and went away in 1960. I never thought I would come back to be in the farm. Anyway, circumstances made me come back. And it was after I met Amu, you know, uh, she's my wife now. Uh, after I met her and I, I brought her here one day to show this place and she said it's such a beautiful place. Uh, unless you build something here, you will not feel like coming and staying. Ponapa, who designed my Chola Mandal cottage in 1971, when he was a student, he said that he would like to design this. So both Amu and I, we told him that we would like to have a courtyard house, you know. So based on courtyard, he designed the whole house. And Amu, she is very much responsible in building this place. As much as Arnavas was responsible in building Cholamandal Cottage, Amu is responsible for this house. I was always interested in uh, other crafts, uh, you know, because in the School of Arts and Crafts where I studied, there was a very good craft section. And uh, so one learned a lot of other crafts over there like batik, enameling work, copper work, ceramics, etc, etc. Then, you know, I felt the need to apply myself to other mediums other than my drawing or painting. So then uh, I got a very good uh, metal worker uh, to come and teach me at the College of Arts uh, where he was working and then he came to Chola Mandal and start, taught me. And then I started working in copper. Of course, I take the help of uh, people, like my carpenters and others. And uh, then this also led me to other uh, crafts, like uh, uh, with a weaver. I have been working with a weaver for the last uh, 20 to 22 years, creating tapestries in silk. And you know, I have done wood inlay work and I have done ceramic work. So it's very interesting for me to carry on doing all this, extending oneself to different crafts.